my channel welcome back to another cooking video your girl gonna be meal prepping today what I'm gonna cook is I have some lentils boiling right now and I also gonna make a little salad I'm gonna be making a pot of lentil so I'm gonna stew that my father-in-law brings a whole set of like green fig um from granville by his house there usually what i do i just wash it and put it in hot water and boil it and when it's completely cool transfer it into a ziploc bag and freeze it so when i'm ready for it to like make soup or, or to you know eat on the side like what i'm gonna do today i usually just take out how much i want like if i want two whole green figs take it out pour it in some water in some hot water and leave it there let it do its own thing and after if it's still like a bit cold i just pop it in the microwave or if i have the time i fry it up with some onion and garlic and salt and black pepper and all of that but usually i just add salt and pepper to it and that's it i eat that with beans and whatever i'm hungry so let's get started okay guys so i have some broccoli here that i'm going to see about all of that good stuff so i'm just gonna cut it And so I'm just gonna rinse it, add it in the hot water. Alright guys, so y'all can't really see, but the broccoli is done. So I'm gonna take it out of my ice water here. And yeah. So the broccoli is done. I'm gonna leave this to cool a little bit and then I'm gonna saute it with some garlic and some seasoning and stuff. So I'm just gonna leave this to cool a bit and I'm gonna work on my salad. Thanks for my salad. I'm drinking a green tea about three hours now and I can't seem to finish it. But that's okay, I'm gonna get started. Yeah, that looking like real kind of hard time hit it. But we're gonna see about that. So this needs to wash real good, so I'm gonna do that. Guys, all the lettuce actually have this white fungus looking stuff on it, and I think it's it's fungus, because I don't know if you guys could see that, but I just cut it again, and it's all basically has it. So I'm gonna see. See, look. This is what I can't understand with groceries. Like you sell your stuff ridiculous. Now all these things gonna have to waste because like I don't wanna eat this and then get sick. So I don't know what to do here. I don't know if to like tear off the leaves and eat the leaves or what to do i don't know because the leaves is fine but it's just like the white part there is like has fungus it looks like fungus so i don't know if to just do this to all because i mean this lettuce is not cheap it's expensive so i don't know i'm gonna figure out what i'm gonna do and i'm gonna let you guys know in a bit well you know i cut the next head of the lettuce right and oh look, it's the same kind of like fungus looking thing. I don't know if you could see it there. So basically this whole bag has it and I don't know what to do because I don't know if I could eat it. So and I don't wanna you know like waste it, like throw it away. So I'm just basically washing it, taking out like the hard part from it. Like this and I don't know I'll put it in a bowl separate I wouldn't eat it I'll um, Google and see but I mean come on a price club like really really the one time that I decide to come and shop by you all I go and get this in my lettuce oh so I'm gonna do out all and then put it in a container and 
I'll Google and see if it's safe to eat or whatever. Guys, this is what I could have saved from the of lettuce. But unfortunately, I would not eat it as yet. I, even though I washed it really clean, I want to Google and still make sure that it is safe. But I mean, it's really annoying when you buy something that's so expensive and then to come home to it being almost rotten. <sighs> so yeah. I'm gonna stew my chicken. I'm not adding any oil to the pot. I'm just gonna add a very little bit of ch um, sugar because I am making the lentil in the chicken. So I'm just adding very little bit of sugar. That's the amount of sugar, so I'm gonna wait till it starts to bubble and add my chicken. This is a frozen fig I've been telling you about that I put. So basically, I'm gonna boil some more, but I have three remaining. So I just put it in hot water and leave it to thaw. And then you can either fry it up with garlic or whatever you desire. So I might fry up some, or I might eat it with salt and pepper, but I'll show you guys how it is when it's thawed out. You just peel off the skin and that's it. So once the water starts to get a bit cool, um, warm you want to empty it and make sure and pull back hot water in that way it can chew out properly and not be completely frozen hi right, guys so the chicken fried nicely i'm going to add the first set of water and then let it fry back and add the second set of water along with the lentils over there and in the meantime, I'm going to saute my broccoli. Okay, so for the broccoli, I'm gonna do four cloves of garlic with some shadow benny and all of that good stuff. I hope you're hearing me because the extractor fan is on. I love my garlic press so much. So satisfying. Alright okay, guys, so to my pot, I'm gonna add my garlic, no oil. So, pot is on low heat. So I'm gonna add my broccoli. Broccoli is done and I'm going to show you guys how I do my fig. Now this is how the fig came out after I peel it so you see there is still a little moisture in it. I'm just gonna add it to my pan. My pan is on low heat apparently. <laughs> so you can add oil or you can add a little bit of golden red butter and you know season this however. I'm just gonna add salt and black pepper to it as well as some shadow benny and some pimento and just kind of mash it up i don't usually mash it up but for this instance i'll mash it up so yeah so this is how it's looking when it's done as i told you you can add garlic um what else onions uh whatever you want to add but this is just like the basic 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 because I'm really hungry so I want this to finish fast <laughs> so yeah I have my lentils and my chicken here so I'm waiting for this to dry down and then after we plate this is the fig here it's boiling it's a lot of fig for this little pot <laughs> but nevertheless so what you want to do you want to make sure you put oil in your pot so you know you don't stay in your pot and yeah this should be done in any time and then i'll leave it to cool and then package it in my ziploc and freeze it and whenever i'm ready take out and just heat it up and that's it so i, I pack it in a ziploc with the skin on 
as well so and you guys seen how it came out like brand new like if you just boil some figs so yeah that's so it we got some figs some broccoli chicken there my cucumber and my cabbage so time to do a taste test so i don't know if you noticed but i love to eat in bowls i love a lot of sauce so i just find like bowls you know accumulate the sauce better so that's why i love to eat in bowls all right so i'm gonna try the broccoli mm. really good mm -hmm. i added some shadow benny and some pimento and scythe to it it tastes real good. I hate broccoli. And it tastes real good. Time to try the fig. The fig is like perfect gesso just as is but the broccoli is shockingly good and i don't like broccoli so yeah all right guys lentil and chicken best as always so that's it for today's video i'll catch you guys in my next video until then stay safe stay blessed Bye.